Hello and welcome to the week of prayer. We know from Genesis 1, 26 to 27, that our identities as male or female are central to God's creation of human beings in his image. But gender ideology seeks to destroy this distinction. It says we each have a gender identity that might differ from our biological sex. It says that our subjective internal feelings of gender identity are who we really are, and they override our bodies. Sadly, it's an idea that has taken hold in many areas of society. The Westminster government recently announced it was abandoning plans to make it much easier to change legal sex. This is excellent news, and we thank God for answering our prayers. But some MPs aren't happy and are trying again. Scotland is also planning to bring in worrying changes. And we also thank God for the excellent result in the Kira Bell High Court case this week, because it's children who are particularly at risk. Already each year, hundreds of gender-confused children are put in a course of puberty blocking treatment with largely unknown consequences. Lives, like Kira's, are being wrecked. So let's give thanks for that common sense High Court ruling and that the Westminster government has dropped plans to make it easier to change legal sex. But let's pray for the protection of children and adults from this ideology. As Christians, we must show grace and truth to transgender people. We must hold faithfully to the word of God, showing compassion, but not compromising. So let's pray too that churches and Christians will be courageous and wise in upholding the biblical teaching that we are made male or female in the image of God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your goodness and wisdom in creating humanity, male and female, in your image. We thank you that Jesus reminds us of this in Matthew 19, when he said, Have you not read that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female? But we acknowledge, Lord, that we live in a fallen world where we have turned away from your good design in so many ways, where so many are confused. And we do pray for them. We pray in particular for the many young people who are confused about their gender. We thank you for Kira Bell and for her courage in bringing that High Court case. And we thank you so much for the common sense verdict that was released early this week. We want to pray, Lord, for those in Westminster that are trying to overturn uh, the recent decision by the government uh, not to change the Gender Recognition Act. We also pray for those in Scotland that are trying to change it as well. We pray that they would not be successful. We want to pray, Lord, that children around the UK uh, will not be prescribed these dangerous cross-sex hormones. And we thank you that the NHS has already decided uh, to suspend referrals to the Tavistock and Portman Clinic. And we pray most of all that Christians would continue to show grace and truth to people struggling with gender confusion, because we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen.